ColourPop is one of my favorite makeup brands, but their site can be very frustrating and overwhelming to shop with way too many choices. So in today's video, I'm going to help you narrow down the best of the best, my must have products with close-ups and swatches. And this week they happen to be having their Black Friday sale. So I thought this was a great time to post this video. And if you happen to be watching this after Black Friday is over, it's still a great reference video for all of my favorite ColourPop products. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. First off, the Black Friday sale is happening from November 21st through the 29th, and it's 30% off site-wide. They're also gonna be doing some individual daily doorbusters. So I figured we could start with those. I'll recommend the products that I love from the doorbusters, and then I'll share the rest of the products that fall under the 30% off site-wide discount. So the first doorbuster I wanna share is happening November 24th, which is Thanksgiving day, and they're gonna be offering their nine pan palettes for $9. And these doorbusters start at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So that's 1 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. So ColourPop has a large variety of nine pan palettes. A lot of them are more monochromatic and kind of all one color story, while others have a little bit more variety. And those are the ones I tend to like more just because if I'm buying a palette, I like to be able to get a couple of different looks out of it and not just have every look come out the same. So let's start with neutrals first because those are the ones I tend to reach for the most. If you like neutrals, I think you'll really like these three palettes. So I have the Going Coconuts palette, That's Taupe, and Nude Mood. These three are my absolute favorite neutrals. And to help you kind of narrow things down a little bit further, Nude Mood is the warmest of the three. You have those really rich kind of bronzy tones with a little bit of an orange undertone to them. It's the one that I'm wearing in the video today. So if you like those warmer, richer neutrals, I think you'll really like Nude Mood. Going Coconuts is the one kind of in the middle, this one is very neutral. It's not overly warm or cool. It just has your very basic brown eyeshadows. And then that's taupe is on the cooler side. So this one has your gray, silver, your taupey browns. So if you like the cooler tones, then that's taupe would be the perfect fit for you. I really like cool tones myself, and I would say That's Taupe is probably the one that I wear the most out of the three, but as you can see, I am wearing Nude Mood today. I think it kind of depends on what I'm wearing too because I have these warmer colors going on in my clothing. I like to sort of make my makeup complement that a little bit, so I still do use Nude Mood quite a bit. Then when it comes to the rosier tone nine pan palettes, I love Blush Crush and Making Mauves. So these two are just a little bit more on the subdued side. ColourPop does have some really bright funky pink palettes, but these are just a little bit more my speed. So Blush Crush has very, very soft pinks and rosy tones. It's a little bit on the warmer side, whereas Making Mauves has those much cooler and dustier mauve pinks. So again, I really think it comes down to your preferences, whether you like a warmer pink or you like those cool dusty tones. Personally, I like them both, again, for different reasons. It really just depends on the day and what I'm wearing and all of that, but I think either one of these palettes is a really solid option if you like these types of tones. Next, when it comes to green palettes, ColourPop does have a lot of different ones to choose from, but most of them are very bright and very, very green. I like greens, but I still like to mix it with a little bit of neutral. So my favorite in the green category would be the Child palette. And this one is just a little bit more subtle. It has greens in it, but it also gives you a couple of neutrals if you wanna anchor the look and not go completely green. On the right side of the palette, you have the browns and the gold shade. And again, those just really add some variety in here. So you can create an all neutral look with this palette if you want to, or you can put the greens in. You could do all green. You could mix the two together. Either way, I think it just helps it to be a little bit more versatile. And then when it comes to purple eyeshadows, my favorite would definitely be the all amethyst palette. Again, ColourPop does offer several different options when it comes to purple, but I think all amethyst has a little bit more of that variety in there again. You have the dusty pink in there, you have the soft gray, some lavender, and also a deep blue purple. So plus a beautiful white duochrome shade that shifts from white to lavender. So that one is really beautiful too. So those are my favorite when it comes to the nine pan palettes. There are others I like, but I think these are just the ones that stand out to me the most and would be the first that I would recommend to you. And these again are gonna be $9 on Thanksgiving and I think their normal price is 14. So you're gonna be saving five bucks on each of these. The next deal that they're gonna be having is on the 25th, which is actual Black Friday. So this deal is insane if I'm reading this right. It says get any mega palette plus the ultimate brush roll for $40. So their mega palettes retail for $35 
all by themselves. The brush roll is 70. So to get these two things for $40 is an amazing deal. So first up, the brush roll has 11 eyeshadow brushes, three face brushes. It rolls up into this neat little kit and you can take it anywhere with you. It's just great to keep all the brushes together. The case is faux leather, so it's really nice either for yourself or it would make an awesome gift for somebody. So this is great. And then as far as the mega palettes go, I have several of them, but again, there are a few that I reach for more than others that I wanted to share. So again, starting with the neutrals, we have Bare Necessities and Stone Cold Fox. So these two right here, honestly, you don't need any more neutral palettes than just these two. The Bare Necessities one is a little bit on the warmer side, and I cannot tell you how many neutral palettes I've duped with this, because whenever a new neutral palette comes out, this is one of the first ones I go to to see if I can dupe it. And nine times out of 10, I really can, because this has just about every neutral color, but this one does tend to lean toward the warmer side of things. So if you like cooler tone shadows, that's where Stone Cold Fox comes into play. So this one is also very neutral, but instead of the warm browns and golds, in this one you have the grays, the taupes, the dusty pinks. And I would say this one is my personal favorite since I love cool tones, but I do also use the Bare Necessities palette quite a bit. So you just have to think about which tones you like to use on a more regular basis. But either one of these palettes is great. Another big favorite of mine is the Smoke and Roses palette. Not only does this have an amazing 80s theme, with some of the best 80s rock anthems as shade names. We also just have gorgeous, beautiful, rosy tone shadows. This kind of reminds me of the Blush Crush palette, but just a way bigger version of it. And I think this one actually has the most variety out of any of the other palettes. When I got this, I almost stopped reaching for Stone Cold Fox and Bare Necessities as much because this has those neutral shades in it mixed with the rosy tones. So I just felt like I could get even more looks out of this one. And when I went on vacations and things, I always took this in my suitcase with me because I figured no matter what I'm wearing, I can find something in this palette to coordinate. So I would say this one is the most versatile out of the three that I've shown you because it's not just straight up neutrals like the other two. If you like a little bit more color though, definitely check out It's a Mood. This one came out for fall, I think it was last year. And this just has a beautiful variety of colors colors. The palette is kind of split down the middle with some warmer neutral shades on the left half of the palette and then the right half is cooler purple and blue and green. And I like this one because as somebody who normally gravitates more toward neutral shades, I still feel like there's a lot of neutrals in here to play with if I want to just maybe add a little bit of color to a look and not do something super colorful, but you also can go the very colorful route with this palette if you want to. So again, there's just a ton of versatility in this palette and I know some people might feel like it's very overwhelming and if that's the case, you might do better with some of the smaller palettes. But I like these. I like how having options, especially when I'm traveling. These are really slim and compact, so they easily can just fit in your suitcase and you can take it with you and just have a ton of shades all at once. As far as the other mega palettes go, I just quickly wanna touch on them. We have Your Golden, and this one I really don't recommend quite as much because it has a lot of the same basic warm neutrals that Bare Necessities has, just with these couple of pops of blue, but I don't really feel like it's different enough from Bare Necessities to really warrant buying it. Same thing with Getting Fresh. This one came out over the summer and it's again just very neutral, but they added a couple of pops of this bright green in here. And unless you're really into that shade, the rest of the warm tone neutrals that are in Bare Necessities are just repeated in here again. So I felt like this one also really wasn't different enough. And then the last one that I have is Gone Matte. This one is a completely matte palette. So if that's something that interests you, if you're not really big into wearing shimmer shades, this one is really really beautiful. It's actually set up with three columns of warm neutrals on the left side of the palette and then on the right side you have those cooler dustier colors and there's really so much variety in here and there's color but everything is very soft, very subtle, there's nothing overly bright. So this palette is awesome for those of you who love neutrals but might want to venture into a little bit of color without going too crazy. Next up on Saturday 1126 they're going to be offering their Color Outside the Liner Cream Gel Liner Vault. 
It normally costs $98. It's a $140 value and they're offering it for $40. So that's about $2 per eyeliner. It comes in a set of 20. And this has everything from your basic everyday neutral liners like black and brown and bronze and gold to really bright fun colors as well. I don't feel like it's worth getting this if you're not gonna use the colors. You might be better off just purchasing one of their cream gel liners, one or two of your favorite colors for 30% off. But if you're looking for a really great, super creamy, very long lasting eyeliner formula, this one is amazing. I actually don't have the black and brown. I used to have them, I used them up. I'm currently going through other ones in my collection, but I am planning on picking up a couple more just with the 30% off sale that's going on, the site-wide sale on ColourPop, because I know I'm not gonna use the bright colors, but I do wanna show you one shade that I have, which is Kicker. This one is in this collection, and it's a really bright silver, and I just wanna show you how incredibly creamy this is. You don't have to press at all. It just glides onto your skin, in. They're super easy if you wanna put them in your waterline and they really stay put all day. So I really love this formula. I think it's 100% worth getting this kit if you think you'll use all of the colors or most of the colors because they work out to about $2 each. So it's a really great deal. On Sunday, 11:27, they're gonna be doing all lip products for $5, which again is a very good deal. Most of their lip products are somewhere in the eight to $9 range. To be completely honest with you, I don't have a lot of recommendations in this category because for me, me personally, I don't feel like ColourPop really shines in their lip category. Their lippy sticks, which was I think the first lip product they came out with, are just very drying to me. And also the liquid lipsticks, I'm not really big into those either. But there are a couple of formulas that I would definitely recommend. The first one is their Just a Tint Lip Crayons. I love these. These are so easy. They really just are a swipe on and go kind of a product. You hardly even need a mirror because they're very sheer. And I like the crayon aspect because I feel like I can sort to line my lips with it first and then just color them in. They do have a little bit of a scent. It's kind of a fruity mango type scent. I don't smell it after I put them on. So it's not something very strong or something that bothers me, but I just wanted to mention it. And the colors that I have are just very basic neutral shades overall. I'm actually wearing the shade Gimme S'more in the video today. And I like how soft and comfortable these feel on your lips. They're not gonna be something that lasts you all day. So you do have to reapply them like you would a tinted lip balm or a lip gloss, but they're just one one of those really quick and easy effortless kind of sheer lip products so I love those and also I really enjoy the so glassy lip gloss formula they also have luxe lip glosses but I like this one because they're just a little bit more shiny on your lips and they still have that same really thick cushiony feel that the luxe lip glosses have that being said if you don't like a really thick lip gloss you're probably not gonna like these because you can definitely feel them on your lips I'm wearing this one on top of the lip crayon today this is called Called kinda obsessed. And it's the kind of gloss that has that little bit of tackiness to it where if you press your lips together, they kind of just stick for a second. But I find that those tend to actually stay on a little bit better than some of the more emollient lip glosses. So if you like a really shiny lip gloss formula, I think the So Glassy ones are really pretty. Moving on to November 28th, Cyber Monday, they're gonna be offering their Super Shock Shadows for $2 each, which is so amazing. If you've been around on my channel for any length of time, you know how much I I love the Super Shock Shadows. These are just the most incredible formula. If you haven't tried them, they're a cream eyeshadow, but they have a bouncy sort of putty-like texture and they really are long lasting on your eyes. They don't crease on me. They stay put all day. And I really like these for one and done shadow looks. So that's when I'm just running out the door. I don't have time to mess with brushes and applying powder eyeshadows. And I just dip into one of these with my finger, pat it on my lid, add some mascara, and I'm good to go. They add a little bit of sparkle, a sheer wash of color, and it's the quickest, easiest makeup look ever. But the beauty of these is that you can also put them on top of powder shadows as well if you're doing a more complicated look and you just really want something on your lid that's gonna pop. These are beautiful for that. There have been times when I was doing an eyeshadow look and I'm like, this shimmer shade just really isn't doing it for me. It's just not as bold or vibrant as I want. I'll just grab a complimentary shade of my Super Shock shadow just pat that on top and it almost is like the equivalent of when you wet a shimmer shade to make it a little bit more glowy and to make it show a little more and these just give you that effect without having to do that so these have just been staples in my collection for so many years this is one of the first products if not the first product that ColourPop came out with and there are shades that I've repurchased several times they do dry
dry out. That's the only thing that I will say is that they don't last forever like a powder shadow would. So maybe like between six months and a year, you might have to get a new one, but just make sure when you're using them to not leave them sitting open for too long, just use it and then close it up tight and just don't leave them sitting open on your counter because that's a surefire way to get them to dry out even faster. And then their last doorbuster deal is gonna be 50% off all lip sets from 11.29 to 11.30. So these are basically just kits where they have several different lip liners or lipsticks all together in one bundle. I don't have any of those to share with you, unfortunately, but I just wanted to mention that deal as well. So now let's dive into some other products that I really enjoy from ColourPop that don't necessarily fall under one of those daily deals, but they are 30% off this week. So first up, we have the Super Shock blushes. These are some of my favorite cheek products that I reach for over and over again. Very similar to the Super Shock shadows, these are a cream blush with a bouncy texture that really turns into a powder as soon as you apply it to your skin. It's not one of those cream blushes that's gonna be sticky on your cheeks and your hair gets stuck in it. Once you blend it out, it just sinks right into your skin and sets down. And they have two different finishes of these blushes. Some of them are matte, some of them have a pearlized finish, but even the pearlized ones are not super sparkly. They just give a very subtle hint of a glow and I feel like they look even glowier in a swatch than they do once they're blended out on your cheeks. So keep that in mind as well. If you are looking for something super glowy, they're not going to be that. They're just very, very subtle. I'm wearing the shade Brute Flute on my cheeks today, which is one of my favorite shades. I got this recently and I cannot stop wearing it because it's so beautiful. And then as an extension of the Super Shock blushes, we also have the Super Shock highlighter. So this is the only one I currently have at the moment. It's Flexitarian. And this is just honestly the perfect champagne highlight. I love the cream formula for my dry skin because it just sinks in and it doesn't look like powder sitting on top. It looks a little bit more natural. And this color is really just perfect for my skin tone and it gives a beautiful glow without too much glitter or sparkle. So this is one of my go-to highlighters that I've repurchased over and over again as well. And also the Super Shock bronzers, which came out earlier this year, are really phenomenal as well. I just love the Super Shock texture because it dries to that powder finish and it's really just so easy to work into your skin. Sometimes creams can be very finicky and I find that these just, because they're a little drier, they don't lift up your foundation underneath or your base products. You can really just treat these like a powder and just use a brush, swirl it around and then blend on your face for a really, really soft and natural look. In addition to the nine pan palettes and the larger mega palettes, there are also some smaller 12 pan palettes and 16 pan that I really enjoy too that are part of the 30% off that I wanted to share. The first one is the Troublemaker palette. This one is relatively new, but has already quickly become one of my favorites because it just has this sort of deep grungy vibe to it. And while it is a little bit of a darker color story and I don't normally wear smoky looks, I feel like it still goes light enough to where I don't always have do something smoky with this palette. And I'm just really super into these colors. I think they're beautiful. Another one that I've loved for quite a few years now is California Love, and this one is still available. It's definitely a warmer tone palette, but there's just something about these colors that really are striking. This combination has just given me some really beautiful warm tone kind of bronzy looks over the years. And I particularly love the gold shades in this palette. If I want a golden look, I definitely reach for this one. Also, Plush Like me is one that I wasn't initially drawn to when I looked at it in the pan. I was like, eh, it's kind of boring. But when I swatched this one out, I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It has sort of a 90s vibe, not just the colors, but also the shade names, which I definitely relate to because I was in high school in the 90s and there's definitely a lot of nostalgia there. But I just thought that this color story was a little bit more interesting and different. It's not your typical neutral palette. It's colorful, but it's not overly bright or bold. Also, Lust for Dusk is another favorite of mine. I mentioned this in a recent video as a dupe for the Anastasia Rose Metals palette. It's not an exact dupe, but I feel like it's really close. The color story is very similar, but this one doesn't go quite as deep and smoky as the Rose Metals palette does. And I just love the colors in here. Again, they're sort of those grungy, earthy tones that aren't just plain neutrals. So when I go for color, I tend to go for these more subtle colors versus something that's a little bit more bold and bright. But if you do like more 
more bold and bright colors, ColourPop has a pretty large array of palettes on their site. So I'm positive you'd be able to find something that you like. For me personally, because I like neutrals, if I do venture into color a little bit, it tends to be more on the subtle side. And then I also wanna quickly mention some things from Soul Body, which is a sister brand of ColourPop because I think their products are very underrated and people just don't talk about them a lot. So the first product is their Face and Body Bronzing Balm. I have mine in the shade Light. And this is a beautiful bronzer. It comes in a much bigger compact than the Super Shock bronzer. So if you wanna use this with a larger body brush to bronze your decollete, your shoulders, your legs, whatever you wanna do, you can use this all over. And it is such an amazing dupe for the Chanel bronzer down to the color. I mean, they almost look identical. Even the packaging and the way that they're presented is very, very similar. So this is another awesome bronzing option. And they also sell a little Kabuki brush that you can use with this to apply it as well. And then when it comes to other face and body products, we have these two right here. And I know I talked about these quite a bit in the summertime. We have the Soul Body Face and Body Makeup and then the Face and Body Bronzer. So this is the one that I bought first. I didn't realize that they had a bronzing option and I was looking for a body makeup to kind of hide some imperfections on my legs in the summertime because I'm very pale for the most part. I try to avoid the sun as much as possible. And I'm also a self tanner phobe because whenever I use self tanner, no matter what, I have dry skin. And even if I exfoliate very well beforehand, for some reason, the self tanning products always tend to grab at weird areas or they wear off strangely and my skin looks all patchy. So I wanted something that I could just use for the day and then wash it off at the end of the night. So I got this face and body makeup in the shade light six and I felt like it was a little kind of warm for my skin tone, but I'm actually wearing it on my face today. It's pretty sheer. So even if the color is not an exact match, I think you could kind of make it work. And I used this all over my arms, my legs, anything that was exposed. And it really has like these light diffusing particles that kind of help to minimize any like little spider veins or discoloration and just makes your skin look really even toned, but it's not glittery like some of those spray on pantyhose that you get at the drugstore. It doesn't have like the glitter particles, which I love. And then shortly after that, I found out that they had a face and body bronzer. So I bought this one and this is in the fair shade. So rather than match your skin tone like the face and body makeup does, this one will give you more of a bronze boost. So even though this is the fair shade, obviously it's a lot darker than my skin tone. So I use this a lot as well if I wanted more of a tanned look. And it really did make such a difference because it also has coverage. So again, it just evened out my skin tone and it minimized the look of the imperfections, the spider veins and little razor bumps or anything that I just wanted to hide. So these are two great products that I really haven't heard a lot of people talking about. And then the last thing that I have are these little shower products from Soul Body as well. I got the Vanilla Dream Body Polish and Body Cream. So the Body Polish is a body scrub and the Vanilla Dream scent is so good. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this and it's just a really soft, creamy scrub. It does a great job at exfoliating. And then the Vanilla Dream Body Cream is this really kind of soft, light, fluffy whip texture and it smells heavenly. It smells like vanilla buttercream. So they do have a couple of other scents on their site as well. But these are two products that I bought when they had their 30% off sale over the summer. I just threw them into my cart, just wanting to try some new things and I ended up really enjoying them a lot. So I thought I'd mention them here. So Anyway, guys, that's my guide to ColourPop with all of my favorite products. I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. What are your favorite products? What do you think I should try next from ColourPop? And are you planning on shopping the sale? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And if you'd like to see what I bought during the Ulta Black Friday sale, I'll go ahead and pop up a video right here. I got some new makeup and skincare, so definitely check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it so much. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider hitting that subscribe button. Thanks guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care. Bye.